Hi. Hi, Mary, director. I am a Fun Stampers Journey Coach. Tonight I'm going to do a really quick video um, showcasing a couple cards that I've made um, the last couple of days. Let me give you some information about me first. I do have a blog. It's createscardsjourney.blogspot.com. My business website is funstampersjourney.com slash marydirector. And I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash createscardsjourney. And I'll bring this back at the end of the video. Um, the video tonight's going to be really short. We have a big storm going on, lots of rain, thunder, and lightning. And I don't want to take a chance of losing um, the video, you know, losing power during the middle of this. So I'm not going to do the technique video I had planned to do. I'm just going to quickly showcase um, the three cards that I've done so that you can see them. And then my next video will show you how I did the backgrounds. This one is a Get Well card. I did the backgrounds using the jelly press, the gel press, not jelly press, sorry about that, gel press by from Fun Stamper's Journey. I also used a new stamp set for me, although it's been in the catalog for a while, called Get Well. It's SS-0331, and it's really cute. It's got a little chicken, a hot water bottle, a spoon for medicine, Hugs and Kisses and Get Well Wishes, Band-Aid Thermometer, Hot Water Bottle, Medicine Bottle, Get Well Soon. Just a lot of, you know, cute little stamps um, for a Get Well card. And that's what I used on this card. I also used the flowers from Summer Garden, SS-0078. And did a little bit of accenting. Um, the background, the watercolor background that you're seeing was actually done um, or created using our liquid colors. And I used Lemon Drop, Limeade Splash, and Catalina Splash for those three. And then some of the cards that, the other two cards you'll see also have um, the sparkle silk in them. And I've also used Black Licorice Ink and also our Huckleberry Fusion ink. This um, background, the card itself, was um, the, the watercolor background was done in Sweet Pear cardstock. Here's another card I just created. Again, similar background technique. I just did a couple extra steps with the liquid colors. And again, in my next video, I will show you how I did that. This one was um, the stamps, our chosen family, SS-0458, and the sentiments in this have a, have a die set. So the die set is DI-0320, and if you purchase them together as a bundle, you do get a discount on the pricing. And the very last one I did, again, similar type background, used the gel press, used my liquid colors, and at the very end when I was done, I went ahead and I took this stencil called stained glass, and I put the stencil over the top of my card, and then I sponged in the Huckleberry Fusion to give the background a bit of a pop. I added some um, journey thread that's got a silver thread through it, I did color this in with our color burst pencils. I added some sparkle silk to the wings of the bumblebee, and I popped everything up with our junior journey foam squares. The silver you're seeing around the edge is our scalloped washi tape, and I just formed a border with it. So these are the three cards. Again, like I said, this is just a short video tonight. I wanted to show you the cards up close. But because the storm's going on, I know that um, it's not a good idea to, you know, do the whole video. So I will do a video tomorrow showing you how to create the backgrounds. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and for um, also visiting my blog. Again, my website is funstampersjourney.com slash marydirector. And I'm on Facebook, facebook.com slash journey. And my blog is createscardsjourney.blogspot.com. 
Thank you so much.